G'day folks, it's a while since you've seen this lathe operating with multiple tools because the turret hasn't been working properly. However at the time of this narration it's made 70 parts with 6 tool changes for each and it hasn't missed a beat. This is scrap hex that we're turning into something useful and that was just turning the hex off and getting it down to the right diameter to cut the thread. The thread is a 32 TPI model engineer thread so it's 55 degrees included angle. Five cuts to cut the thread is what's recommended but uh, I was getting a bit of chatter on the thread flanks so I adjusted it to give me eight cuts and that gave me a reasonably good thread. In a number of places this video speeds up or slows down I haven't noted it I think you're all smart enough to know that it's either up or down a little bit in speed here if you look above the caption you can see the profile of the thread under the microscope. I was pretty pleased with that. And if you look just below the caption here you'll see the crest of the thread in focus. Here I'm using a 120 spot drill because the actual drill that follows up is 135 point. But I'm making the spot drill go deep enough to leave a chamfer on the drilled hole. Here's the drill. It's a deep hole jobber which has a higher education than a standard jobber drill has better flutes and different helix these are a lot more expensive than a standard jobber but if you've got a lot of work to do they can really pay for themselves I'm never quite sure what feed to use with these drills I imagine that you can use a higher feed than you can with a standard jobber but I've never seen anything to confirm that I'm shooting a bit further away from the part than I would normally do. I just wanted to give, try and give some impression of the space around the part taken up by the turret and the various tools as they move around. Here we put a chamfer on the thread and finish off the other end of the part before moving to the parting tool, which unfortunately you can't see because it disappeared behind the other tool. If you hang in there till the end of the video, I promise you will see the parting tool in action. Here's the parting insert I used first, which is just a straight neutral insert. And if you've ever tried to deburr something like that by hand, you'll know how nasty it is. That lump tends to cause the deburrer to dig in and it's very nasty. There's the side profile of the inserts that I used. And next you'll see the one that I ended up using, which is a right hand insert. And this gave a much better result as you can see from that shot and that shot that just made life so much easier this is my collet closer and you'll notice I have to give it a bit of a bang to get the collet to come forward to release the part I'm holding the blanks in a 5c hex collet 10 millimeter the blanks are 10 mil hex 32 millimeters long and they're scrap here you can see we're a bit closer up. There's the details of that particular insert on screen. Um, this run through will not have any simulation, so we'll just run straight through the whole operation. Here we're cutting the thread as you can see. And that obviously did speed up a bit there. Done. Once a drill starts drilling you'll be able to see the chamfer left by the spot drill. If deep hole jobbers can be fed more quickly than a standard jobber I'd really appreciate it if you let me know in the comments by just how much it can be increased. Now we change over to a profiling insert, details of which are on the screen. Didn't take long did it? gone already and now we come to the parting tool I'm not knocking these off and parting these off all the way because there's no jaws for them to fall into as if it was a chuck and get the threads damaged and they're just falling off nicely here's the finished part rather pleased with that 
This end will be silver soldered into a check valve body similar to what you'll see in the next photo. Remember if you can click the like button or leave us a comment it really is much appreciated. Thank you for watching.